Beneath the remote Kimberley region of Australia, a discovery was made that would challenge everything geologists thought they knew about diamonds. The Argyle Mine unearthed not only some of the world's rarest pink diamonds, but also revealed these treasures in an unexpected host rock. Lamproite, a volcanic rock long dismissed in diamond exploration. This revelation expanded the boundaries of geological theory, forcing experts to reconsider how and where diamonds could form. Argyle didn't just produce diamonds, it redefined the future of diamond mining, introducing a new frontier of exploration and igniting a global demand for its stunning coloured gems. This is the story of how Argyle transformed an entire industry. The Argyle Diamond Mine, located in the East Kimberley region of Western Australia, is renowned worldwide for its production of some of the rarest and most valuable diamonds, particularly its iconic pink diamonds. Since its discovery in the late 1970s, Argyle has transformed our understanding of diamond geology, challenged prevailing theories about diamond formation, and introduced new mining techniques to the industry. Though the mine ceased its open pit operations in 2020, its geological significance, economic contributions, and the uniqueness of the diamonds it produced continue to resonate throughout the diamond industry and beyond. This video explores the geology, significance, formation, and mining of Argyle diamonds, focusing on what made the mine a global phenomenon. The Argyle diamond deposit is geologically unique, particularly because its diamonds are hosted in lamproite a volcanic rock rarely associated with diamond deposits. Traditionally, kimberlite, another ultramafic volcanic rock, was considered the primary host for diamonds. Argyle challenged this conventional wisdom when diamonds were discovered in the AK-1 lamproite pipe in the late 1970s. The discovery not only expanded the geological model for diamond exploration, but also opened up new possibilities for discovering diamonds in similar volcanic environments around the world. The Argyle Lamproite Pipe formed roughly 1.2 billion years ago, during the Proterozoic Aeon. This volcanic pipe or diatreme is a rare type of volcanic eruption that are incredibly fast and violent, with magma rising from deep within the Earth's mantle at speeds of several hundred kilometres per hour. Unlike typical volcanic eruptions, Lamproite and Kimberlite pipes are not associated with large magma chambers. Instead, they form from rapid bursts of gas-rich magma propelled directly from the mantle. The high concentration of volatile gases, such as carbon dioxide and water vapour, expands as the magma ascends, creating explosive forces that push the material to the surface in a matter of hours or even minutes. This swift and intense eruption process is what allows diamonds, which are formed at depths of over 150 kilometres, to be transported to the surface relatively intact. The resulting volcanic pipe or diatreme is filled with fragmented rock and diamond-bearing lamproite leaving behind a distinctive carrot-shaped structure in the Earth's crust. Geologically, the Argyle Pipe is situated in the Halls Creek Mobile Zone, a tectonic belt that separates the Kimberley Craton from the younger sedimentary basins surrounding it. The central Kimberley region, where the mine is located, consists of ancient, stable rock formations known as cratons, which are ideal environments for diamond formation. The presence of lamproite in this tectonically active area created the unique geological conditions that allowed the Argyle diamonds to be brought to the surface in a single explosive volcanic eruption, where they were deposited within the lamproite pipe. Diamonds form under extreme conditions, typically at depths of 150 to 200 kilometers beneath the Earth's surface, where temperatures range from 1000 to 1500 degrees Celsius and pressures exceed 45 kilobars. Argyle diamonds likely formed around 1.6 billion years ago, deep within the Earth's mantle. While most diamond deposits are hosted in kimberlite pipes, the presence of diamonds in Argyle's lamproite pipe was a revelation, indicating that lamproite could also serve as a diamond-bearing rock. The diamonds from Argyle are particularly notable for their range of colours, especially the rare pink diamonds. Unlike traditional diamonds whose coloration is typically influenced by impurities like nitrogen or boron, the pink hue in Argyle diamonds is thought to be caused by structural defects within the diamond lattice that lead to the selective absorption of light, giving the diamonds their signature colour. While scientists believe this is related to plastic deformation during the diamond's journey to the surface, which altered their crystal structure, the exact mechanism behind the pink coloration remains a topic of ongoing research. In addition to pink diamonds, Argyle also produced brown diamonds, which were heavily marketed as champagne or cognac diamonds. These brown diamonds make up the majority of Argyle's output and were crucial in making the mine economically viable. Their coloration is also linked to structural defects, similar to the process that creates pink diamonds. 
Although the specifics of brown coloration differ slightly in terms of the types of crystal deformations involved. Blue diamonds were also found at the Argyle Diamond Mine, though they were extremely rare. The primary focus of Argyle has always been its production of pink diamonds, but occasional blue diamonds have been discovered. These blue diamonds are prized for their rarity and beauty, similar to the pink diamonds, but their occurrence at Argyle was much less frequent. The blue coloration in diamonds typically results from the presence of boron within the crystal lattice, which causes the diamond to absorb red, yellow and green light, giving it a blue hue. The discovery of the Argyle Diamond Mine in 1979 came after nearly a decade of geological exploration in the remote Kimberley region of Western Australia. In the late 1960s, geologists began investigating the area based on geological similarities to known diamond-bearing regions in Southern Africa. The breakthrough came in 1979 when two diamond crystals were found in a sample of stream gravel from Smoke Creek, leading geologists upstream to the source, the AK-1 Lamproite Pipe. This opened up new possibilities for diamond exploration and eventually led to the establishment of the Argyle Mine, which would become the world's largest producer of diamonds by volume. Mining at the Argyle Diamond Mine began with the extraction of alluvial diamonds found in the stream gravels of Smoke Creek, which had eroded from the AK-1 Lamperite pipe over millions of years. These alluvial deposits were the first economically viable source of diamonds discovered in the area, and initial mining operations focused on recovering diamonds from these loose surface level gravels. However, after a few years, attention shifted to the source of the alluvial diamonds, the AK-1 pipe itself. In 1983, the mine transitioned to hard rock mining, targeting the Lamperite host rock through open pit methods. This marked a significant change, as the operation expanded to exploit the vast diamond reserves embedded within the Lamperite, including Argyle's famed pink diamonds. Thus, while mining initially focused on easily accessible alluvial deposits, the discovery and development of the Lamperite pipe became the cornerstone of Argyle's long-term success. The scale of the open pit operation was immense, with a pit measuring over 1,500 metres in length and 600 metres in width. To extract diamonds from lamperite, the ore had to be processed using a series of advanced mechanical and chemical methods. The mining process began with the drilling and blasting of the lamperite ore, which was then transported to a processing plant where it was crushed into smaller fragments. These fragments were scrubbed and screened to remove dust and debris. The next step involved using heavy media separation, a technique that takes advantage of the high density of diamonds to separate them from the less dense surrounding rock. The final stage of diamond recovery employed X-ray luminescent technology, which could detect the unique light-emitting properties of diamonds under X-rays and separate them from other minerals. Underground mining began in 2013, as the open pit operation reached its economical limits. This method allowed miners to access deeper sections of the lamperite pipe, extending the life of the mine until its closure in 2020. The discovery of the Argyle Diamond Mine in 1979 marked a significant milestone in both Australian mining and global diamond production. Prior to Argyle, Australia had no significant diamond mines, and the majority of the world's diamonds came from Africa and Russia. Argyle changed this by quickly becoming one of the world's largest diamond producer by volume. In its peak year of production, 1994, Argyle produced over 42 million carats of diamonds, accounting for approximately 40% of the world's diamond production. Argyle's significance extends beyond the sheer volume of diamonds it produced. The mine's pink diamonds are among the rarest and most valuable gemstones in the world, with prices reaching hundreds of thousands of dollars per carat. This rarity is due to the fact that less than 0.1% of Argyle's total diamond output consists of pink diamonds. Despite their scarcity, pink diamonds from Argyle command astronomical prices due to their desirability, making them a symbol of luxury and exclusivity. In addition to its commercial significance, Argyle has had a profound impact on diamond exploration and mining techniques. The discovery of diamonds in Lamperite prompted geologists to re-evaluate potential diamond-bearing rock types worldwide, expanding the scope of diamond exploration. Argyle also set a new standard for large-scale diamond mining, employing advanced ore processing techniques to handle the vast quantities of rock required to extract diamonds economically. Although the Argyle mine ceased operations in 2020, its legacy endures through the diamonds it produced and the geological discoveries it inspired. The mine's pink diamonds remain some of the most sought-after gemstones in the world, symbolising luxury, rarity and beauty. Beyond its commercial success, Argyle expanded our understanding of diamond geology, proving that lamperite, in addition to kimberlite, could host economically viable diamond deposits. It also revolutionised diamond mining techniques, 
setting a standard for future operations around the world. The Argyle Diamond Mine represents more than just a source of valuable gemstones. It is a demonstration to the ingenuity of modern geology and mining, and a lasting symbol of Australia's mineral wealth. The Argyle Mine will continue to stand as a benchmark for scientific discovery, responsible mining, and a timeless allure of diamonds. I hope you found this topic as interesting as I did, and as always, thanks for watching. Are you interested in animals? I've just started a second channel called Paleozoology that discusses extinct and extant animals with a current focus on the megafauna that once dominated and roamed Australia. I'd love to have you along for the journey as more videos are released. You can find a link to this channel in the description and in the pinned comment in the comment section. Before I end this video, I'd like to give a big shout out to my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much to everyone that helps to support this channel.